a small space or an apartment and want to do woodworking, well, I can help you out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a very sturdy workbench that folds up, slides under your bed, and stores all your tools. Just getting started on the project and gathering all my materials and tools together, and this is everything that you need. Um, you're going to need a 2x4 sheet of plywood, half inch thick. Um, you'll need a 1x6, about 12 feet long. You'll need two 2x3s that are stud length or 8 feet long, and some screws to attach it all together. Um, you'll need some bolts for the pivoting legs and a drill bit for installing the bolt. And I'll need some sort of saw to cut a drill for attaching safety and then a tape measure, of course. And if you're not using a miter saw, you'll want to use a speed square to get your square cuts laid out. And also for the 15 degree angle cuts at the bottom of the legs, you'll need this to use that. So if you don't have a miter saw. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out my project. This end is nice and square, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull from there and make my first cut. Now I'm going to start cutting the legs out of 2x3 material and um, going to the long point with a 15 degree angle. So I want to show you how to do that. So now we need to just line this up there and then we'll come back to 15 degrees. And we're lined up with that long point. We're right on 15 and then I can make this line cut right here. So since I just have such a small scrap piece here that's left over, I'm not going to elevate it up on the boards. I'm just going to overhang it and let that piece fall to the ground when I'm done cutting. The other thing too is I got to readjust my saw blade because the material thickness is different. So this saw is super easy. You just undo it and then you find your depth here on the back. So I want to get a little bit past inch and a half and then just tighten it. I got everything cut out, so I'm going to start assembling. So there's a couple different options for screws. I'm going to try these out first. They're a trim screw with a really small head. The downside is the head is so small it might not pull it together. The upside is the head is so small it hides in the wood. So <laughs> catch 22 here. Um, definitely use glue on all these joints because there is a lot of weight going to be put on these joints whenever you're moving it. So, And these are self-tapping screws, so they shouldn't split the wood. It's like drilling into butter. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use three screws here. If your screws are splitting, just pre-drill the holes. There's only 12 of them. It's not that big of a deal. And if you buy a combo kit with two drills, just load one up with the pre-drilling bit and load the other one up with the driving bit and it'll go super fast. Okay, so um, this is the plywood panel. I don't even need to cut it. I bought it right off the shelf. 
exactly this size. It was about 20 bucks. One thing I'm gonna say is I'm using three quarter inch. I think you probably could have got away with half inch and that would have been just fine. It would lighten things up a little bit. This is what I'm using. I'm gonna use an um, inch and a quarter long screws the same type that I use to attach it, but just a little bit shorter, see if that works. But I definitely don't want any screw heads sticking out above this surface, because this is gonna be your work surface. We want it nice and flat. All right, so those screws worked out really, really good. And this is what we're looking at. So uh, now I'm gonna start drilling the holes for the legs. Now, just imagine this as a giant beanbag toss game. That's all we're really making, except we're gonna make legs on both sides. But there's a very specific pivot point for it all to work out and for it to sit level. And I've got all of that outlined in the plans, so, um, Please, if you want to build this, head on over, check out the blog post, and um, download the exact specifics, and I'll show you how to put it all together. This is going to lay out everything, so... legs I got the holes drilled in them it's gonna pivot but I've got to round them off so when it pivots it doesn't bind anywhere so I'm just gonna use my circular saw don't have to be perfect here basically you're just taking these corners off okay so the legs need to go like this All right, I got the legs in and they'll just pivot like this, but I want to do two things. I want to connect the two legs together so they go at the same time. And I also want a divider in here. I'm going to put these guys in the middle, like this. Uh, so when it's closed, it acts as a divider. And then when you open it, they open together and it adds some more support to the legs. So the project is all done. I got the handles on. Let's go test it out and see if it actually works. Wow, it's actually very sturdy. I'm amazed.
this project is when you're all done with it, you can simply fold it. that live in small spaces, apartments, maybe you're building out on your balcony, maybe you're even building in your kitchen, you don't want to ruin your nice kitchen table. This is the perfect solution for that. You know, obviously it's not the workbench that fits for everybody. If you have the space, you're going to want a workshop like I have. If you don't have the space, this is great. Um, another use I thought is people are always asking to borrow tools from me. So now I have a loaner kit that they can just put in the back of their car, take home, work on projects, and then bring it back or pass it on to the next person. So the whole reason that we're building projects is to save money and we want affordable tools that actually work. So the core of all the tools in here is the Ryobi combo kit, the drill, the circular saw, and the battery. Um, the reason I like the Ryobi tools is because it matches the same battery as the Airstrike nailer and this nailer I've had for about five years. It's still going. You see how many projects I use for it. It's $99. You're not going to find a better deal out there. So Ryobi is a very affordable option for a DIYer. This weekend is the best weekend to tool up because it's Black Friday and all tools are on sale. So get to the Home Depot, grab your combo kit. Now is the time to grab those tools up. It's your turn. I've already got the plans up. So if you want to build it for yourself, or you know somebody that wants to get into building, build this for them, fill it up with tools and put a ribbon on it. It will make their Christmas, I promise. All right, time to clean up. Thanks so much for watching this week. We'll see you next Monday.